Good morning, Lord. As we see this image of our world on this World Communion Sunday, we think about all of the pain, Lord, that has been collective this year in our world as the COVID numbers worldwide reach one million. Lord, we pray especially for those in the countries of Israel, Spain, Brazil, England, and Scotland, where the upsurges in the virus are causing more closures in response to increased cases and deaths. We pray in our United States, Lord, for those dealing with the wildfires and the increasingly strong hurricanes. And Lord, we pray for our president and the first lady and all those within the White House that have recently been diagnosed. Um, Lord, we pray for your continued healing for all of those, especially those who don't have the health care that they need to get through this virus in as safe ways as those of us who do have medical care. Lord, we pray for those in India who are disabled and are especially dealing with shortages of food and medical care and housing, those basic necessities of life. For those in Venezuela, Lord, who have a shortage of safe drinking water. Lord, we pray for our children that we have adopted in Kenya through the Zoe ministry. We're so thankful for the ways that they are learning new skills and growing in the hope that you offer us, Lord. And throughout this world, Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit to continue to work, to rise up, hope within this world and for people to to care for one another in ways that you call us to care help us to be people that share one another's burdens listen to our hearts longing lord for healing of our world and now we pray for those people specifically that we name in our hearts now Lord, we know that you hear us better than we can speak. We offer our prayers to you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now we pray that prayer together as your body of Christ at Skyland. And we pray that you continue to join our hearts together as we seek to love, grow, and serve together. And now we say together... Our our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.